We get asked all the time, what's the best data system? Well, the answer is the best data system is the one you're going to use every single time you're at the track. And doing that means you need something that's simple, easy, and efficient to use. Well, the VBOX HD Lite checks all of those boxes. All the information in the world is useless if you're not taking advantage of it, you're not gathering it, and you're not analyzing it. So what that means is when you have a data system that's simple and easy to use, it really increases the effectiveness of that data system. Well, the VBOX HD Lite promises to do just that, and it's actually succeeded so well that we are integrating this into all of our new car testing now. We are big fans, and I'll tell you why, and it's for a couple of reasons. First off, this packs a lot of power into a very small footprint here. I'm holding something that is essentially the size of most modern action cameras. This is not only your data collection device, this is your camera as well. Full HD camera pointing out the front. Surprisingly good onboard uh, audio from this thing as well. Um, great industrial style six pin connectors on the back that can receive both power and CAN data. You've got two of those, so you can run multiple feeds into the thing and a connection for uh, your GPS antenna on the back. On the side, we've got some weatherproof ports that include your slot for your uh, SD card and a slot for a little Wi-Fi dongle that plugs into a micro HDMI slot that pairs with an iOS or Android app that allows you to view the camera through your iOS device, which is great for lining up those shots. It also gives you some control over image quality, uh, like exposure, like light levels, like white balance, which is really important for us because we're out here making videos with these things. One of the things we haven't really liked about uh, using some action cameras, and even action cameras that ga gather some rudimentary data, is they work awful in low light situations, inside of a dark car, filming out on, onto a bright track. Giving manual control over uh, some of those uh, parameters is fantastic for folks like us who are trying to make good videos and also fantastic for you just trying to analyze that video in as high quality an image as you can and for sharing them on social media as well. So the other main parts of the system, a uh, 10 foot long GPS antenna with a magnetic mount and a, a power cable that connects to a standard 12 volt outlet in the car. Also available is a 12 volt hardwired outlet as well. And uh, your kit is gonna come with um, usually this windshield mount right here, suction cup mount, multi-purpose head. There's also a roll bar mount available as well. We use them interchangeably, but the nicest thing about any of these mounting solutions is the uh, HD light right in the body of it has an industry standard quarter 20 threaded port there. So the entire world of camera support gear suddenly opens up to you. That quarter 20 hole is widely used in the filmmaking industry. So pretty much any camera support gear is going to be adaptable to that port. So whatever type of mount you like to use can be very, very easily adapted to this unit right here. Using the HD light in a competition or testing situation, very seamless from inside the car. All the programming is done in advance through the HD light app. Now, that is a PC only app right now, but VBOX does tell us that as of the time we are making this video, which is uh, fall of 2023, they are working on a Mac based app to do the programming. Setup software is very simple and it lets you define a lot of custom parameters inside the HD light. Uh, for example, it lets you set the auto start and auto stop. You can set an automatically GPS triggered start on these things. Whenever you plug it in, the power is on. So you don't have to worry about switching the thing on, switching the thing off. When you wanna start recording, you can either start recording manually using a uh, button on the side, or you can do what we do, which is to set an auto start based on GPS speed. As soon as you hit that speed, this thing is gonna start recording and then it will automatically stop once you are motionless for over 15 seconds. Once you're done with the session, getting that data and video into Circuit Tools is as easy as dragging those files into Circuit Tools and opening them right up. It automatically syncs 
the data file with the video file so you can get matching video and data in circuit tools without any need to synchronize those things on your own. They're automatically synchronized. And that same kind of efficiency translates to your track day or your test day or your time trial day or your road race day. So the more efficient that we can be in going through these processes, the better. And we're excited about integrating this into, into all of our on-track activities just because it is so small, it is so easy to use and returns such a wealth of data. So the inevitable question always comes how much and the answer is whole kit is going to cost you about $900. There's a couple of options whether you want hardwired 12 volt power or you want um, ported 12 volt power, a couple of different mount options, but we're talking about options in the 10 to $50 range. So you're looking $900 plus or minus for a one box solution of HD uh, video and powerful data. Now, the other bonus here is you don't just get the data that comes off of the device. This is gonna pick up GPS speed data, this is gonna pick up G data, and it's also gonna give you time data as well, and you can, you can alter a lot of those and customize those in circuit tools. But with these ports on the back, you can also bring in CAN data, which means you can bring in uh, sensors from the car, anything using that CAN protocol. You can pick up things like brake pressure, steering angle, throttle trace, and analyze those in the same charts that you are using to analyze your speed trace and your G trace in circuit tools. So do we have criticisms? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, nothing is perfect. And we do have a couple of nits to pick with this unit. For one, the LED light that shows you whether the unit has power, whether it's recording, shows you all of the status is mounted on uh, for most folks, that's going to be the right side of the unit when it's facing out the windshield. So if the unit's mounted to your right as a driver, that's not going to be in your line of sight. We'd love to see that mounted on the back to, to always have uh, visual on what the status of the unit is. Although we can also say we haven't missed a session yet because something failed to trigger or failed to happen. Also, like so many of these um, small action cameras and... Um, just small electronics that are in your car. The manual trigger doesn't have a ton of feel if you're using it with gloves. Again, you're hardly ever gonna use the manual trigger because it's very easy to set up those automatic triggers in the uh, HD Lite programming app. But if you do happen to uh, need to use that manual trigger for something, gonna take a little bit of, uh, of feel to use it with gloves on. Aside from that, we have nothing but good things to say about this unit and that is due in no small part to the fact that it makes our jobs easier and it makes our weekends when we are competing easier. We always love to stress just how important it is and how beneficial it is. Even if you're intimidated by data, there's a lot you can learn by just taking a quick look at those squiggly lines. And when something like this makes getting those squiggly lines that much easier and that much more efficient, that's that's thumbs up all around in our book. So if you are a fan of our track reviews or any of our on-track activities, you might notice that some of the data is gonna start looking a little bit different when we analyze it for our test. And that is largely because of this device here. We are excited that this thing is going to make our job easier and it's going to make your experience better as a viewer and as a reader of Grassroots Motorsports Magazine because we're gonna be able to bring you that much more information that much more efficiently uh, because of the HG Lite. We're really excited about this product and we are excited to integrate it into our testing procedures. Folks, if you wanna know more about how to analyze your data, watch any of our track tests or any of the content that we have here on YouTube, we suggest you go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Hit that bell, you will get notifications about everything that we post on YouTube. You can check us out on the web at grassrootsmotorsports.com. And the next time you're at the track, we would love to help you analyze some of your data. Hopefully we'll get the chance to do that sometimes. We'll see you again at the track. Support brands who support Grassroots Motorsports. Get your chemical solutions from CRC Industries. To learn more, visit crcindustries.com. Want to see more content like this? Make sure to hit that subscribe button and like this video.
And for more information, visit us online at grassrootsmotorsports.com.